Hi, my name is Ram Kulkarni and I am a member of Cold Fusion Engineering Team. In this video, I am going to show you how to develop, test, debug and package mobile applications using upcoming versions of Cold Fusion and Cold Fusion Builder, codename Blender and Thunder. Uh, so let's get started. Open up Cold Fusion Builder and you should see a default uh, server already configured because Cold Fusion Builder now ships with Cold Fusion Server. So let's start the mobile project. I'm going to create a very simple application for tracking expenses. Uh, it, is going to it is going to be a single page application with a form at the top to enter expense information and uh, we will display a list of expenses just below the form. So I'm going to start with a blank uh, template. I'm going to call this simple expense tracker, click next, select the default server and click finish. So we have a file with CF client block created for us. Now I'm going to start with uh, creating HTML uh, UI. Uh, I have code snippets for uh, each of the code blocks uh, uh, which I'm going to use so that I don't spend time uh, typing in this demo. So I'm going to insert the HTML code block here and uh, it has uh, three input fields, date, amount and description. Uh, there is an add button. When you click on add button, the information would be, it would be inserted into database as well as displayed in the list. And that list is uh, here. Um, I'm displaying expenses in a table and the name of the table is exp list. And um, so it's a very simple HTML code that we have written. And next I'm going to write code for uh, creating uh, tables and um, code for data access. And I'm going to do that in, uh, in CF client block. I'm going to insert CF client code here. So I have a variable to store a data source name. Uh, I'm calling data source expense DS. Then I'm creating table using CF query. Uh, there are four fields. I'm creating expense table and four columns in that ID, expense date, amount and description. The type of expense date is integer. Then I have a function to list expenses. It's first going to query the database and get all the expenses uh, using CF query and select statement. And uh, I'm going to name this query as RS. And then I'm going to iterate over the query. And uh, for each expense state, I'm going to create an instance of JavaScript date because date is stored as integer uh, in the database and we, we want to display a date in string format. Uh, so we will create a JavaScript date. And then I'm calling a helper function called add expense and passing expense date, amount and description. Now add expense takes three arguments and I'm going to use CF output and CF save content to create HTML string uh, for each table row. So there's a table row and three uh, table columns for date, amount, and description. And I'm using date format function to format the date. Once I have the HTML for a table row, I'm going to append that uh, to uh, exp list table. I'm using document.getElement by name, and I'm appending this row HTML to the inner HTML of uh, expense list table. Then I have a function to add expense. Uh, first, I'm uh, getting all the user input data. So I'm getting uh, uh, data from text, date, text, amount, and description. And I'm then inserting this into table using CF query and insert statement. And I'm using CF query param uh, to specify values of uh, columns. And once the data is inserted into the table, uh, I am appending that to HTML table um, using add expense row function that we just saw here. And uh, I'm calling list expenses just after creating the table. Now add expense function should be called when user uh, taps on add button. So we have to have event handler for add button. And I'm going to do that uh, use in JavaScript code. So here I have inserted JavaScript code. First I'm getting uh, add button and I'm handling uh, on click handler of that button. And in that handler, I'm calling add expense function 
which we have written in uh, CF client blog. Uh, I think we are done with coding. Let's see how it looks in the browser. Uh, let's see if there are any data sources already created. So as you can see, there are no data sources created uh, so far. I'm going to open the page. Simple expense tracker. Okay, I forgot to save the file. So let's save the file and run this again. And this is our HTML form and this is a list of expenses. There are no expenses as, as yet. Uh, but you can see here that the expense data source has been created and expense table is also created. Now let's uh, package this application so that we can install this on mobile devices. Uh, for packaging, we go back to CodeFusion Builder. Uh, we use PhoneGap Build Server to create packages for mobile applications. Uh, so you have to set certain uh, preferences in uh, CodeFusion PhoneGap uh, preferences, mm -hmm. server URI, email ID, password, and if you want to sign your application, uh, which in case of iOS is required, you specify key details for iOS as well as Android. So after setting the preferences, you select the files that you want to package. So right click on project and go to project properties. Go to ColdFusion mobile project properties. And in the resource selection, you will see the files and folders in your project. Uh, select the files that you want to package. And then again, right click on project and select phone gap, uh, generate phone gap build option here. Now this is going to send, send the files to PhoneGap build server. Uh, first it is going to convert all CFML files to JavaScript or HTML. Then it's going to upload it to PhoneGap server, uh, build server. And when that is done, you will see a row added to the PhoneGap status view. And when the build is ready, you will see download button uh, enabled here. The builds are downloaded, uh, the builds are actually generated. Uh, we can download iOS or Android build. I'm going to download Android build. So click on download and select a folder uh, where you want to save the build. The build is not uh, downloaded. Uh, we need to move this file to a mobile device and install the application. I'm going to use Bluetooth to do that. Now I'm going to use Android screen monitor to show you what, what is happening on my mobile device. So this is my mobile device and uh, you will see the activities on my mobile device in this window. So up first, I'm going to transfer the flyer file. This is the file I downloaded. And that, um, I'm going to accept the file transfer. And then just going to go to uh, notifications, tap on Bluetooth file that was transferred and tap on the file. And it will start the, start the install process. So I'll tap install and the application is being installed now. So application is installed. Uh, I'm going to open the application. And this is how it looks on mobile. Let's enter some data. So this application was already installed. So I'm going to set the date. Say 1000, I'm going to spend on travel and add so you see the information is added to database and displayed uh, in the list of expenses i'm going to now show you how to test and debug mobile applications developed uh, using cf mobile features uh, it is much easier to debug and test applications uh, with another application a mobile application that we have developed we call it phone gap shell application uh, it is just a, just a mobile browser embedded within a standalone application. The difference between standard mobile browser and this application is that uh, this application supports all uh, PhoneGap APIs. So I'm going to run PhoneGap uh, shell application. And this is how the shell application looks like. Uh, you enter the URL of your application here. This is the uh, your uh, CF server URL. And I have already entered the URL for simple expense tracker. I'm going to tap go. And this is the application running in shell. So let's debug this application. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to launch this project uh, in debug mode. So right click on the project and select debug as Cold Fusion client application. 
So now the project is launched in debug mode. I'm going to set breakpoint at list expenses and I'm going to run the program in shell. So let me display Android screen monitor and I'm going to tap go. As you can see, the program has stopped at line number 55. I'm going to step into this function. And you can go to uh, Cold Fusion debugging perspective and see stack traces. Um, step over this. Let's add a breakpoint in add expenses uh, function. And I'm going to select date, amount, and I'm going to tap add. And as you can see, the execution has stopped at line number 87. I can step over. I can inspect the variables, global variables, as well as local variables. I can even evaluate expressions. So temp date dot two string, as you can see, uh, is already uh, evaluated here. Amount is evaluated. So I'm just going to continue execution here. Let us now look at uh, inspect workflow. Uh, this is useful if you want to inspect DOM elements of HTML application on mobile device. And also uh, see uh, JavaScript console messages that are uh, uh, emitted from the program uh, running on mobile. So uh, to inspect the application, you first need to start inspect server. So go to Cold Fusion administrator, uh, go to debugging and login, and the last option is remote inspection setting. Allow remote inspection box and start Windray server. Once the server is started, you will see a link available here. This is the link for the client, uh, inspect client uh, page. So I'm going to click on that and then Let's bring up uh, Android screen monitor. I'm going to start this application in inspect mode. So to do that, uh, execute the application with inspect parameter. Inspect and click go. And you will see that the target is available here now. Uh, you can inspect DOM elements. Let's resize this window so that you can see uh, mobile application and DOM elements side by side. So as I hover over the elements, you can see different uh, uh, sections getting highlighted in the mobile application. So form, table, uh, another table here for list. Want, let's say I want to change uh, font of body element. So I'm going to say font size, let's make it 20 points. And when I do that, immediately you would see the font being changed on the mobile application. Let's change the uh, color of uh, this header. So again, I would say color and I would set it to blue. And as you can see here, the header is changed. So this is very useful if you want to see how the application looks like on different devices and you want to uh, play with CSS uh, elements and uh, their values. You can also see console messages. Currently, I don't have any console messages in the application, but if I had any console messages, they would appear here. Now, I want to mention here that though I showed you debug and inspect workflows uh, using PhoneGap shell application, uh, these workflows are also available for uh, standalone mobile applications. Now, please see the documentation for uh, more details about how to enable debug and uh, inspect workflows in install application. I hope now you have got a fair idea of how to uh, develop, test, debug, and package mobile applications using CF Mobile features. And I also hope that you would develop applications using these features. Thank you.